What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? All right, today I want to talk to you about 12 type of women that would most likely cheat on you. So maybe you want to avoid them so you're not in a predicament and heartbroken or I don't know if you love the girl, but like just embarrassed or whatever you want to feel about it. I have 12 type of women that would for sure cheat on you. Let's go. Number one, and I know you know that one, the one that she did before. I know everybody is like, no, you know that was in the past. I don't do shit like this no more. Um, I feel like she did it once. She probably can do it again because the same issue might come in your new relationship and she's gonna feel again, okay, well, it's time for me to cheat. So you guys should pay attention. If she cheated before, most likely she's gonna cheat again. Number two, I am that girl, but I don't cheat no more. Um, the girl who have a lot of guy friends. Obviously, we know, I mean, I'm not stupid, you know. I know these motherfuckers that I call my friends probably wanna fuck, but at the end of the day, it's up to me to decide if I'm gonna let them fuck or not. But that is a type of woman, <laughs> I'm calling, I'm putting myself out there today. That is the type of woman that is most likely to cheat on you because when something is going wrong in your relationship, she's most likely going to go and talk to her guy friends to like confer her. And then they'll be so quick to, you know, jump in the pussy because she's sad and she's crying. And then, you know, when women are vulnerable, that's when the motherfucker can slide in and fuck, you know, so be aware of this woman. Mm -hmm. But these women are looking for approval from male and because your approval is not enough, they need from more people. So that's why they have those male friends. I know a bunch of girls would say, well, I get along with guys more. Yeah. Yeah. She sure does. <laughs> Number three, the woman who would never invite you out. Like her social life is totally separate from yours. So you have your group of friends, she has her group of friends. Every time she goes out, you're never invited. You probably never met the friends and all the friends are fucking single. So that's the cherry on top of the cake. The friends are fucking single. So what are you guys doing when you go out? Picking up girls, picking up dudes, like, you know? Yeah, so most likely she's gonna be in situations where she can be tempted. And the fact that she doesn't bring you around, that that's kind of weird. Number four, the woman who doesn't really like to have sex or want to have sex with you often. Uh, I don't know. I know some women, they're not really like sex driven or whatever, but the one who are, and then they don't really fuck you, you know, they're probably going to get fucked by somebody else. So those type of women who don't really fuck you on a regular basis are probably cheating on you and getting their, their back blown out. Like, fireworks, but just not with you. Yeah. Number five. Something that might surprise you, but supposedly women who work in the medical field are more inclined to cheat. I don't know why, that's in the study. Also it says people who work in education, social work, and uh, finances. I don't know why it's that, but it was a study and they're saying those people are most likely to cheat, so be careful. That is so crazy to me because I'm like in education, is the bitch fucking a student? Is that what it is? Or she has, I don't know, she's fucking the other teachers. What is it? Or in finances, I don't know. Maybe the client comes and the client has hella money and she's doing the portfolio or whatever and now she wants to fuck him because of the money. I, I don't know what it is, but hey, it's a study. So if you're dating somebody in those fields, and you know, I was kind of surprised because I would think that people who work more like nightlife or like, you know, bartender, waitresses, strippers, uh, or, you know, artists, entertainers, comedians, stuff like that, because, you know, when they get to a certain level of like either fame or either like a bunch of people know them like from their work, you would think that's when they're more inclined to cheat, but that wasn't it, so. Number six, which is again, something I found in a study, blonde women are more likely to cheat. I don't know, blonde have more fun. I don't know what it is. They're more sluttish. I don't know, but be aware of blondes. Number seven, which is kind of obvious, but you know, we think we're more special. That's the woman that you stole from a dude. So she was in a relationship. She cheated on her ex with you. Now you're with her. Do you think she's going to be faithful? Come on now. Or a girl that just got out of a relationship. 
you already know she just got out they might still be talking she might still have feelings for him and maybe they're just kind of like on a break and they're gonna try it again so you already know a girl that just got out of a relationship she's most likely gonna cheat with the ex mm -hmm. or even if it's not with the ex she's just not ready right away to jump in something serious so what do you want to do number eight the woman who is always accusing you of cheating obviously either she's projecting because she's doing the dirt and uh, she's feeling crazy and she's like i'm doing it he must have been doing it too or uh, the woman that's just like she's insecure and because she's insecure and always think you're doing some dirt she might go and do it just to beat you to it you know just so she doesn't look stupid so i'm telling you a woman that's always accusing you of cheating most likely i don't know i had this dude he was always telling me i'm doing some shit and i wasn't doing anything and then eventually people started coming to me telling me yo you know he's doing that you know he's talking to so and so i was like really i was like this motherfucker telling me i'm fucking cheating when he's the one fucking all them bitches number nine women who have a substance abuse or just use it a little too much maybe she's not like an alcoholic or I don't know a drug addict or anything but she uses it a lot so she drinks she does drugs and you know in those circumstances you know you're not in your right mind to make the best decisions so that might be more inclined to do some dumb shit because she's out of her mind so guys if you're dating girls who are like always blacked out or who are always high i know we say like weed and stuff is nothing but yo I don't know. But yeah, women who have substance abuse issues most likely are going to make bad decisions and they might be cheating on you. Number 10, women who are afraid of catching feelings, like who have like, they're not emotionally available and to them that's kind of scary. So when they start liking you, they might self-sabotage and the best way to self-sabotage a relationship is to go fucking cheat. So if you see that your girl, like she's not really in tune with her feelings and she's always like kind of scared of having those feelings, might be rough for you. Number 11, women with low self-esteem. Cause you know what they're looking for is validation all day long. So maybe in the beginning of the relationship, you gave her enough validation because you know, it's fresh, it's new. You're like, oh baby, you're so cute, all that shit. And then when the relationship settles, you know, you tend to kind of like relax and not give as many compliments. Once you do that, a woman with low self-esteem is going to need that. It's like, it's like a drug. She needs to fucking hear that she's beautiful all day long. So she's going to start looking for approval and validation from other people, which she's probably going to get if you're fucking with like a good looking girl. And, um, and yeah, and then that's how, you know, she's going to get compliments from other people, more attention from other people, and then she's going to be inclined to cheat. Oh yeah, you agree? She's like, yep. Yeah. And then number, I don't know how to do 12, 12, the woman who is a narcissist. I know we hear that term all the time, but it's pretty much somebody that's really self-centered that cannot see or feel the feelings of other people. It's everything about herself. So a woman that feels like that, she's not even gonna see cheating as a big deal. She'll be like, well, you probably did something, so that's why I did it. Or I don't think it's gonna hurt his feelings, so I can do it. You know, they're just like not emotionally all the way there for other people. They have no empathy. Everything is just like me, me, me. So cheating is okay pretty much for them. I mean, and again, why would you wanna date a narcissist? Like she's never gonna do anything that's in your benefit. It's always gonna be like, if it's good for her, she do it. If it's not, she's like, no, nah, I'm good. So that's it. That was 12 type of women that would most likely cheat on you. And if you guys recognize that in your girl, I'm not saying your girl is doing that for real, but hey, you might wanna take a look a little closer and be like, ah, oh, baby, what you doing? And you know, I mean, don't go accusing people just because they have some of those characteristics, but maybe just pay attention, like take a, a better look at who you're dating because again, nobody is here to waste their time in relationship. It's time consuming. It's uh, feelings involved and all that shit. And you know, you guys deserve way better than that. Like nobody should be cheated on ever. That's what I think even if you don't care what I think. Whatever. All right, so that's it. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then to follow me at MellyLoveXO to see all the same video. If you're not watching on YouTube, you can watch them on Instagram. 
and uh, also follow me with my music journey and just my regular pictures at Melly Monaco. That's the right one. All right, lovers, I will talk to you soon. Also, I don't know if you saw, but I'm selling some merch. So the website is up and running. I'll put it right here and then you guys can just um, go and get something. It's Everything is limited, so if you want to get something, it's quick because that shit might be gone. All right, guys, I will talk to you later.